Hi guys, just a few points before the video. Firstly, the camera quality for the intro was bad, but for the rest of the video was fine. Secondly, this may be irrelevant, but you'll notice a white stain on my black shirt that looks like toothpaste, but it's actually not. It's washing powder from the washing machine. Thirdly, the sun was in my eyes for most of the video, hence I was squinting, so I don't think I was angry or anything. And then fourthly, if you don't enjoy watching people speak while eating, then I don't recommend this video for you. However, there are many other videos on my channel. Definitely check them out. Also, guys, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Like, oh, guys, I mean, every time I think of it, I'm like, what? That's me? Like, it's unbelievable. I literally thought it was going to take me the whole year to get to 1k but the fact that i got to 1k in august like just before i reached my one year anniversary is like amalgamating it's amazing and i'm really really thankful for every single one of you yeah thank you so much guys uh if you haven't subscribed already definitely want to subscribe as you can see we are growing and growing <laughs> i really don't know where i got covid because <laughs> I was in the house and literally the only places where I really went was the shops and stuff. So guys, please stay safe. Don't touch your eyes or your nose or anything while you're in the shops. Sanitize, wear your masks, social distance. Don't take these things for granted, guys, because there are people out there that won't be as lucky as me and could get really, really sick. So yeah, guys, just stay safe. Please also believe this virus is not here to play. When you first hear of it, it seems so distant from you. Like it seems like something like oh, COVID. You don't think you're ever gonna get it until you have it and you realize we would see your good bird, good bird. Cardi, why are you ignoring me? Answer my calls, Cardi. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to Kira.com. I am Megaya Macheke and this is my YouTube channel. If you are a turning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, you definitely want to hit the subscribe button to become official member of the gang. Hey, dot. Hey, go. <laughs> As you guys can see from the title of this video, I am going to be doing a mukbang type of vibe we've got pizza here and we've got zinger wings with ice coffee cheers 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 so if you guys want to join me go make yourself something to drink it's puzo or something to eat and yeah let's tuck and eat together you know what i have so yeah and i'll also be sharing with you guys my covid experience how did i find out how did i treat it and how did i how did it affect my academics you know everything like that without further ado let's get into the video yeah the first thing we're gonna do is just take a pizza slice i'm hungry yeah. all right guys so let's get straight into the story time so <laughs> Is it really a story time? I don't know, whatever, okay. So, what happened is, the day that I recorded my all-nighter, right, I was feeling fine, feeling good, you know? Lekker, lekker. Mm. The next day when I wake up, I can feel her normal. I'm not right. Like, my throat was itching so badly. Like, so badly. And I had this urge to cough. But I couldn't. I don't know how to explain it. I was like, mm, what is this, honey? So, <laughs> so I was like, no, okay, maybe it's just flu. You know, I'll get better. Throughout the day, it's getting worse. Like, when I walk up the stairs, guys, it feels like I ran a marathon. Like, I'm out of breath. And I remember I was telling some of my friends, I was like, nah, it's probably flu. Like, I'll be fine, whatever, whatever. But then, guys, keep in mind that I was still, like, indoors. I didn't go out. I was still quarantining. Not really quarantining, but there was no way to go because we were doing school online. So, there's no way for me to go. So, luckily, I was in the house. I'm telling my friends, like, on the phone, on WhatsApp. I'm like, nah, it's probably just, like, food. I'll get better. 
Wednesday comes um guys yeah now i'm starting to feed it like well especially when i was trying to sleep wednesday night when i tried to sleep remember i got sick on tuesday wednesday night when i tried to sleep yo my chest my chest was not giving yeah um i literally i didn't feel good and i remember the next day that thursday i'm like i, I saw so i said there is no way it was either wednesday or thursday i was like there is no way i'm attending school today we were doing school online but i was like there is no way so the next day i bunk school the whole day i slept the only problem i had was my chest and coughing the coughing like has had now become the coughing had now become really intense and my and my chest so i'm just like nah man maybe it is covid but i'm like but i've heard from other people i've heard from other people that covid is worse than this maybe it's just flu i'm like really confused so then hey, guys let's fast forward to sunday every day i'm getting more sick remember keep in mind fast forward to that sunday the next sunday so it's thursday friday saturday sunday that sunday i remember i started studying for exams i was studying for, for um i was revising and stuff because i was studying during the week because we were gonna write exams we we're gonna start writing exams online that monday the whole day i was so tired like so fatigued but the girl still studied that night guys i remember while the president was speaking i was so sick i was so sick like i was so tired i don't want to say i'm weak now you know i didn't necessarily feel weak i just felt so tired and so like oh uh, uh, that feeling mm -mm. so um then yeah the school sent us an email saying that there's an exam that the grade levels need to write at school right we i'm telling my parents i'm like we're in a panarotis we're in a panoramic and everybody's under the impression that i have flu right so i'm telling them that like guys this is not flu i'm like for this exam that i'm gonna write tuesday i get it sunday then that tuesday the next tuesday the tuesday that's coming i have to go to school to write my english exam so I'm telling them, like, if I'm sick, I need to test to make sure. So that if it comes out positive, then I don't go to school. If it comes out negative, then we'll see if I get better, then I'll go to school. If I if I still have these fluid symptoms, then I won't go. So that night, I went to bed early because I still, I was like, I'm still writing my exams, child. The ones online, I'm still going to write them. So I go to bed and then I wake up the next day. At half past seven, we start writing. So I wrote my African exam then after my exam i told you guys that i'm always tired so after my exam yo i literally switched off my laptop and went straight to the bed gone the morocco gone okay cool vibes and then my mom's like okay she knocks she's like um while i'm sleeping she knocks she's like um let's go test obviously for me now it's out of nowhere i got jump but what well, let's go test and then she explains the procedure so we go test we go um to the testing place <laughs> so we get to the gate where the securities are and like is this where they test they're like yeah the building is in this estate it's like an office building they like driver's license my dad forgot his driver's license at home where so they're like no we can't allow you in if you don't have your driver's license because he forgot his wallet yeah so then he's like, it's either you park here outside and you walk. At that time, guys, I'm so tired. I just wrote an exam. I'm like, walk. Then my dad's like, okay, how far? How far is it? She's like, no, it's not that far. You must walk. You turn here, what, what, what. At that time, that place is literally like an office park. It's huge, guys. It's huge. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So then, yeah, we eventually decided to walk. I think we walked for like five minutes. It wasn't that bad. I was still tired, yeah, because, you know, oh, guys, my lungs. <laughs> I was still tired, but I walked. I made it. So we got there. Luckily, when we got there, there wasn't a line. The way they made it sound on the phone, like, yeah, you must wait in a line. When we got there, luckily, there wasn't a line. Thankfully, yo. So, there's a lady there on your phone. You scan with your phone, the, the what's that thing, the QR code. You scan the QR code with your phone. And then you put in your name, surname, what about all of those good stuff. Why are you testing your blood type if you know it, ID number, etc. 
So we put it in and luckily we were, it was only me and my dad there. So they're like, okay guys, uh, when you're done, you can just come in and test. My mom thought it was free. <laughs> my mom was under the impression that it's free. And now I remember my dad doesn't have his wallet. So we get there inside. So when you get inside, it's, it's actually a really, I didn't, I thought it was going to be like, I don't want to say ghetto. I don't want to be rude and say ghetto. But then they made it sound like the line. I don't want to but yeah, so it's a really like really nice place. It's very aesthetic and whatever. So there's a place with this side, it's the nurse. This side, it's the, I don't know what it's called, but the person that tests you. There's two doors. So the nurse said we must first go to her. So we first go to her when, when, when we're done signing. My dad goes in to the nurse. He gets in there and then they're like, oh, okay, it's 4.90 or no, 3.90. They're like, it's 3.90. And then my dad's like, how oh, we thought it was free. They're like, nope. Oh, guys. So my dad had to go all the way back home. And then I had to wait there for him to come back. Because they can't test me if you don't pay. Luckily, we only live like, we don't live too far away. So he left me. And he had to go back home to fetch his wallet. Yeah. Then I'm thinking, tomorrow I'm writing physics. Hey. I haven't even. Guys. <laughs> I really don't know what I was thinking. I literally only did one topic. I had four topics to study, eh? I only did one. I had three left. What time is it? It's 3 p.m. Where am I? Testing for COVID. Hey! I... Um, so I'm waiting there for my dad. Hey! Time is going. 30 minutes. I'm like, I'm... I called him. I'm like, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm outside. I literally just got here. Cool vibe. Hey! My dad pays. <clears throat> and then they call me. So I go in the nurse's room with him. So when we get in there... Why are you testing? Did you come in contact with anyone? I'm out here like, nope. I've been in the house. I literally, the only place I've really been with people is in Pumalanga. Like when I went to go visit in Pumalanga, yeah. And it's been like two, three weeks since. So I couldn't have gotten it there. And then I was like, these past, like these past three weeks, I've literally just been in the house. The only place where I went is the shops, yeah. So then I'm like, so I don't think I've gotten, been in contact with anyone with COVID. She's asking me, what are my symptoms? Um, so guys, my sim these were my symptoms. So my first symptom was itchy throat. Then my second one was a cough, a really brutal cough. But you know what the funny thing is? Ne? I didn't feel it for the first few days. Ne? It was very... Uh, uh. Ne? <laughs> but like uh, my chest wasn't sore. But as the days go by, yo... Oh, it really puts a strain on your, on your, I don't know, here it becomes sore, yeah? And then it came the fatigue. And then the one that I didn't like the most, guys, and this one, this one happened straight when I came back from testing. As soon as I came back from testing, I can't smell anything, guys. The food that I'm eating, but I, I was just eating to get full. From that Tuesday, ne, that whole week, I'm, I was just eating to get full. Even to this day, ne? I can taste the food, but it's not that, I can't taste that flavor that I used to. Like, it's slowly coming back, yeah? But it's not that, oh guys, I miss, I miss just tasting food and just like, getting the full flavor. Because now I can taste food, but not the way I used to. But yeah, hopefully it comes back. Some people said that it took them like a month, two months. For them for her to come back one of my aunts said four months so let me just be patient and be grateful that i can somewhat taste and smell it's getting better at least stuck fine anyways so i told her all of those symptoms um except for the taste and smell one because i only discovered that after cool vibes she writes it down she tells me do you want to do the antigens which is the one that comes out in an hour or the other one that comes out in 24 hours and it gets verified by a doctor. What, 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 I, those complicated things. I was like, nope, let's do the one that comes out in an hour. Which is the antigens, I think. So, yeah, cool vibes. Then she's like, okay, you, I can go to the other side. So there's, this is the room I was in. She's telling me to go next door. When I get in next door, it's just a, a young guy in gym. Hi, how are you? Good. She's like, he's like, oh, um, I'm like, he's like, hi. I'm like, hi, um, he's like, how are you? Uh, no, I'm like, hey, what? <laughs> he's like, hi. I'm like, hi, how are you? Um, I'm good. How are you feeling? By your voice, 
I it sounds like I have COVID in front of me. Something like that. I can't remember very well. And I laughed. I'm like, I get flu and I'm like, I. And at the back of my head, though, I knew it was COVID. I'm like, I. This guy doesn't know what he's saying. Can I flu? You're on the denial stage. I'm still there, guys. Imagine after seven days, I'm still in the denial stage. <laughs> okay. So now it's time. It's time. I'm scared. I'll inter I'll, I'll show you guys um. A, a, a clip that's it Shelly, that's what stop being dramatic for the video please <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing what's that easy you just stop as you guys can see in that clip i was scared i was scared i was like because eh. everybody's telling me how it's uncomfortable it's like this it's like that hey i'm so scared guys i'm literally like Yo, this guy's like, no, it's not bad. Uh, it's literally in and out, quick, 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 quick things. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Just, I remember I was sitting like this. <laughs> so, he puts it in this nose, that nose. Even in the clip, you guys heard, he's like, hi. Stop being so dramatic for the video. Okay, guys, it's not so, ne? But it's uncomfortable. So, I don't know what he was saying. Like, that thing is so uncomfortable. Like, yo, uh, uh, uh. Even after I tested, like for the uh, for the first awanyan, it still felt like that that thing that they tested was in my nose. Cause he did both. It felt like it was still in my nose. Okay, cool vibes. We test. We go home. No, hey, actually, on our way home, the car stuck us. Guys, can I call you? I still need to study for physics. You know what time it is now? It's almost five. <laughs> my results haven't come out yet. So we're driving home. The car stuck us. Huh. My mom, my dad's like, no, let me call your mom to take you home because you need to study and we don't know if you're sick or what. As soon as my dad calls my mom, ding, phone yaka, ding. Dear Ekaya Macheke, I'll put the screenshot here. Dear Ekaya Macheke, wara wara wara, you have tested positive for COVID in T. What, 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 I told my dad, I was like, yo, daddy, I tested positive. And he's like, no, 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 I'm calling mom. You need to get home ASAP, Rocky, yeah? So then, yeah, he called my mom. My mom came, and then he he waited like there for our children to come in. My mom came. I got home. Told my sister and my aunt. They were like, "Hey, go to the room with immediate effect, guys." I didn't even get time to like gather my things and put them in my room. You know everything that I need. Ah, they were like, "Go to the room now." I literally just took my school bag and went to the room straight. My mom told the school that I have COVID. Yeah. So now, my mom's like, it's up to you. You can tell them if you're going to write or not write. I can just send, like, my um, duty principal uh, message on Teams. Because she's also my physics teacher, yeah? And I was writing physics the next day. So I'm like, my mom's like, it's up to you to, des to decide if you're going to write tomorrow or not. <clears throat> or you want to rest. What's, what's the plan? So, at this point, I've done two topics. It's around eight. Né? Remember I told you guys I only did one topic. At least at this stage, I've done two topics. It's around eight. I have two more to do. I'm thinking, should I? Should I not write? Then I'm like, hi, these marks. I'm in grade 11, guys. So I'm like, these marks are super important. Like, these marks are so important. Let me just write because it's not like I'm sick to the point where I can't move. And I'm so lucky and blessed for that. Because I know there were some people that really had it bad when it comes to COVID. And... A lot of people lost like family members and stuff because of this. So I'm really grateful that I didn't really get that sick. And to anyone that has lost any family members or got really, really sick during that time, my sincerest apologies and prayers. I'm sending love, love and light to your families. So I sent my teacher a message. I'm like, hi, ma'am. How are you? Tested positive. My mom sent an email. She's like, oh, okay, how are you feeling? Are you still going to write? Wada, wada. Then I'm like, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm still going to write all of my exams that are online. Wada, 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 wada. She's like, okay, cool. Right. It's no problem. If you're good, I'm good. Okay. And then I remember, what do I remember? All right. So then, yeah, remember I had two more topics to do. So I did them. <sighs> kind of. <laughs> I kind of, I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't want to be those people that lie to you. Like, I was so productive. I, those two topics, the last, the last two, I, 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 I didn't really practice. I just read through it. I'm like, okay, I understand this. That's all I need. I didn't practice any, like, um, examples or anything like that. Okay. So, the next day comes, I write. I'm tired, guys. I slept so late. I slept around one. I was so tired during that exam, ne? Like, yo, 
But all, all I wanted was for the time to finish. Like, I just want them to say, pants down. I was like, I just want to sleep. It wasn't even a thing of, like, I feel like coughing or I just wanted to sleep. That's it. I, I wanted to rest. I was like, just tell me time is up so I can sleep, yeah? Finally, times out, I went straight to bed, guys. Literally straight to bed. I'm even full. I didn't even finish one slice. <laughs> All this talking. See, the rest of the week went like that. When on Wednesday, when people went to go right online, I mean, at school for the English exam. Remember, there was an English exam that you had to write at school. Obviously, I didn't go, so um, I had to write online with other stu like international students that also couldn't come to school. So we wrote online and yeah i was chilled vibes at least i still got to to write because guys one thing about me now i was like i'm still writing my exams so the medicine that i had was like a lot of vitamins I had vitamin d3 vitamin b vitamin c vi this other one called selenium a lot another thing when it comes to medicine before i tested and i got medicine prescribed i did have a lot of things with like ginger garlic and I just always stayed hydrated. I always had like water with lemon. And I do think because on the day I got sick, I started doing that. I do think that kind of helped me to not get as sick. Because like I really tried to boost my immune system and just clean my system, stay hydrated. I made sure that from that day, that Tuesday, that the Tuesday, that, the, I mean the Monday that I started getting sick. I had water with lemon, things with garlic ginger i steamed every day so what i would do is i would put like vicks on my nose and chest and then i would steam then i would steam every night from then i would i took the humidifier out on the day i got sick i did all of this i took the humidifier out and um i put it on 35 percent because apparently when you're sick i think you have to put on 40 percent or lower or something like that just to help you to be able to breathe and stuff so every night because i told you guys that like you know it would be hard sometimes to perform la so yeah, I would put it on um, and put it on 35% and leave it on for like four to, um, four to six hours um, just until I sleep. And when I sleep, I switch it off. I really urge you, now, if you feel like you're sick and you haven't tested yet, just drink water with lemon, a lot of ginger, a lot of garlic and drink um, medicine. So I also had the link on the side, which is um, a cough syrup. How did COVID affect my academics? So luckily for me, guys, né, we were writing exams, number one. Number two, everything was, most of the things were online. So luckily for me, I had an advantage that um, I wasn't going to miss any work because it wasn't face-to-face -face, um, school exams or anything. So I didn't miss anything per se. So I wouldn't say it affected my academics in any way because I still feel like I was effective and I studied like how I would normally study if I wasn't sick, except for physics, but like, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that day yeah um, the only problem i would say is that I, I was really really fatigued but i did like try to just push because i know how important these exam marks are and i know the pressure in term three i don't want them to say oh shame you had covid you're right next term uh -uh. term three which is the last term of um grade 11 i already have to write my last my final exams that's already a lot of pressure so i had to like just push myself because i felt like I still could like nobody forced me my parents didn't force me i felt like i could still push on so yeah it didn't really affect my academics besides oh guys let me tell you oh, this was like the most annoying thing so remember now guys i got sick on the let me check i got sick on the 19th of july right i tested on the 27th which was one week later right so i told the even my doctor and everyone they were like yeah you literally you only have one week of quarantine left because i tested a week after i was sick does that make sense because you have to quarantine for 14 days but because i tested a week after i was sick they were like yeah um we're gonna write you a sick note for one week we sent it to the school so which means my last day of quarantine would have been the second. Yes, would have been the second of August. So it's the sixth, by the way, today, guys. So my last day of quarantine would have been the second. That week when I was writing exams, already I was feeling better. Like I was starting to get better. Saturday was Saturday was my twelfth day 
of quarantine and then sunday was my 13th day already i was feeling spichocho so now guys tuesday i'm writing egd egd you can't write if you know egd guys like how what type of subject it is you cannot write egd online so they were like okay guys all egd students you need to come to school to write so i'm like no since my quarantine is ending on the second and we're writing egd on the third i it's about right uh. so guys that whole weekend I spent my time making sure I understand every concept. I went through everything. I did drawings. Yo, guys, I was so focused because, like, I was like, I need to do well in this exam. By fire, by force, yeah? I was studying, 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 studying. Saturday, Sunday. Even Monday, I woke up early to study because the next day I was going to school to write. So I thought. Now my teacher sends me a message. She's like, Kaya, Kaya, are you writing at school? I'm like, yeah. She's like, Kaya, Kaya, are you coming to school to write? I'm like, yes. She's like, oh, okay, because of, I don't want to say her name, but um, my grade tutor said that I'm still under quarantine. Then I was like, no, my, my mom sent her the sick letter that clearly stated that I have one more week of quarantine left, yeah? I told her that. Then she was like, oh, okay, cool, vibes. Tomorrow, please write in room 28. Then, like, after an hour or so, guys, I'm studying. I'm in the room. I'm, I'm studying. I'm like, I'm passing the subject. I'm studying. I'm studying. My mom gets a call from my grade tutor. She's like, hi, um, no, the policy is that you actually can't come to school for 14 days from the day you tested, not from the day you got sick. Now, keep in mind, guys, then, I tested seven days after I got sick. So I was already halfway when I tested. They're like, number one, it's either they take the average I already have and that will be my mark. Or number two, I write in September. And I'm like, after studying for four days, Ooh, guys my heart was it was broken like my heart was so broken yeah so i couldn't write that exam and at that time the next day i was writing two exams my last two exams on the same day i'm thinking to myself imagine if i knew this sooner all those four days i was studying for egd i could have studied for english and tourism because i was writing them on the same day my egd teacher later sent me a message saying no don't worry you will write your exam in september so i'm still grateful that I'm, i'll still be able to write in september last thing guys <laughs> appreciate your senses appreciate the senses you have guys né? appreciate the fact that you can smell and taste because oh guys i don't know if i'll be able to ever taste or smell the same way again i really hope i will but i don't know if i will so appreciate guys né? if you had covid and it didn't affect your taste and smell be really 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 thankful and if you haven't gotten covid yet please guys appreciate every pizza everything that you eat appreciate it i remember this other day my um aunt made this really nice pasta spicy chicken pasta <laughs> i couldn't even taste it i just had to eat it to get full yeah? literally you can literally give me bread dry bread with water and that's it because honestly what's the point if you can't taste it <laughs> That was my COVID-19 experience. I really hope you guys got a little bit of insights of how COVID can be. Again, I'm sending my love and light to anyone who got really sick or anyone that um, had a family member pass away because of COVID. I'm sending my love, light, and prayers to your family. Guys, don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe to this video with your friends. Road to 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it. Road to 1,500 subscribers. You know that vibe. By the end of this year, we're going to be at 2K. And that's on what? That's on period. That's on period. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys learned something. And remember, to see a change, be the change. Bye.